Sasha Banks opens up about the current state of the women's division in WWE, Edge reacts to his first conversation with Bret Hart, and Kurt Angle claims a top WWE superstar is one of the best in the world. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Kita Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss brand new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Sasha Banks makes a bold claim about WWE's women's division. While the WWE Universe believes the women's division of the company hasn't been in the best form, Sasha Banks disagrees. The boss recently sat down with Graham Matthews of Bleacher Report to discuss all things WWE. When asked about the current state of the women's division, Banks put over the female roster stating that it is the greatest of any era, saying quote, I feel like we've been knocking down every door that's been closed in front of us. If they keep making more doors, we're going to keep knocking them down. The WWE Women's Division is the best it's ever been. I think it's the greatest of any era from top to bottom, and I can't wait to see what more the future brings, even from NXT 2.0. To see how many women are down there from when I first started, there was only a group of eight and now there's maybe a group of 30. Just to see the growth from then to now is so beautiful." End quote. During the interview, Sasha Banks was also asked if she still feels the pressure of being one of the people to help elevate the WWE women's division every week. Banks provided an interesting response to this question, saying, quote, I would say yes and no. Yes, just because I want to keep the momentum going because I wanted to make sure that if I'm not in the title picture, there are more women in the title picture and there's two women's storylines going on at once. I just want more, more, more for the women and I feel like we've been doing that. For me, it's nothing new. I feel the pressure less and less because they believe in me so much that I don't have to put pressure on myself anymore." End quote. An amazing childhood picture of WWE Superstar Braun Breaker with Scott Steiner. WWE Superstar Braun Breaker has been the focal point of NXT 2.0 since its brand's revamp. Apart from his larger-than-life physique and unmatched charisma, Braun is also known for his famous family. Breaker, whose real name is Bronson Rex Steiner, is the son of legendary wrestler Rick Steiner and nephew of Scott Steiner. He is a second-generation professional wrestler and a former football player. A fan recently shared a heartwarming picture of a young Braun sitting on his uncle's lap. Braun's WWE debut was at WrestleMania Backlash pay-per-view on May 16, 2021, when he and several other wrestlers portrayed zombies in a lumberjack match between Damian Priest and The Miz. However, he made his in-ring debut defeating LA Knight on the September 14th episode of NXT. Breaker has been compared to his uncle since he made his debut. Apart from the siren entrance and Steiner recliner, the two also have a similar physique and talking style reminding fans of the big Papa Pump every time the young star speaks. The former pro football player is a number one contender for Tommaso Ciampa's title. He will face the two-time champion for his Goldie at this week's NXT Halloween Havoc. The last time WCW's Halloween Havoc took place in 2000, Braun's uncle Scott Steiner challenged for the WCW world title. If history repeats itself 21 years later, we're getting another Steiner challenge for a top title in a similar backdrop. Jim Ross names WWE's greatest on-screen commissioners. Former WWE commentator and executive Jim Ross believes Mick Foley and William Regal are the greatest on-screen commissioners of all time. Foley worked as a babyface in the authority figure role in 2000 after he retired from in-ring competition. The WWE legend was replaced by Regal, who performed as both a babyface and a heel during his tenure as the commissioner in 2001. Speaking on his Grilling JR podcast, Jim Ross praised both men for providing so much entertainment during their tenures as fictional WWE bosses, saying, quote, I don't think we've ever put Foley into a gig that he didn't succeed in but they both were in the two and the best in that role that I ever saw WWE book, cast if you will. Like I said, I'm a major fan of William Regal to this very day. It's ironic I got both these guys their jobs. When that happens, it feels like you help somebody's family. They had to do the work, I just got them a jersey and an opportunity." End quote. Although WWE no longer has commissioners, authority figures still exist in WWE programming. 
Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville are currently in charge of Raw and SmackDown, while Willem Regal has performed as the NXT General Manager since 2014. Mick Foley briefly became WWE Commissioner again in October 2001 after Linda McMahon fired William Regal. Jim Ross, who also worked as WWE's Head of Talent Relations at the time, was disappointed to see Regal removed from the on-screen position. Foley returned as an authority figure role back in July of 2016 when he became the Raw General Manager after the WWE Draft. He stayed in the position for eight months before then-Commissioner Stephanie McMahon fired him. Edge reacts to first conversation with Bret Hart. On Twitter, Edge reacted to an old viral footage of when he first met Bret Hart on a talk show. Edge said that Bret caught him after the show and apologized for not offering more advice. Before he was Edge, he was Adam Copeland, a young and upcomer who dreamed of a life in WWE. Recently, Natalia reacted to the old footage of Edge asking Bret Hart for advice during a talk show. Edge responded to Natalia's tweet saying he eventually wound up at Bret Hart's house to train. He also thanked Bret for giving him the opportunity to enter WWE. Edge stated that Bret Hart gave back to the business and wasn't afraid to help someone to get to their destination. Most who've met Bret Hart have said he was always willing to help young and up and comers including The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. In response to Edge's tweet, the Bollywood Boys also second this by posting a tweet. During a press junket for his movie Jungle Cruise, The Rock, on seeing on that interview wearing a Bret the Hitman Hart t-shirt, explained to Emily Blunt, his co-star, Bret's impact on pro wrestling and how much he helped him. When active in the ring, Bret Hart was a true pro wrestler and old school to a fault. The Rock praising him unprompted in interview shows the legacy and impact he's left behind. Kurt Angle claims a top WWE superstar is one of the best in the world. During the latest episode of The Kurt Angle Show, the WWE legend revealed the 10 superstars he never faced in a singles match and Seth Rollins was one of the names featured on the list. Kurt Angle spoke highly about Seth Rollins and felt he is currently one of the best wrestlers in the world. The Olympic gold medalist stated that while Seth Rollins reminded him of a young Shawn Michaels, the Raw superstar still has time to excel to a higher level as a performer. Kurt Angle admitted there were discussions about a potential match against Seth Rollins when he returned to WWE. Angle felt that the dream clash never happened as WWE didn't have plans for him to have many big singles matches. Kurt Angle's health was the utmost priority and the Hall of Famer believed the company was just trying to protect him during his final run. Kurt Angle teamed up with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose at TLC 2017. The veteran was included as a last minute replacement for Roman Reigns. Unfortunately, fans never got to witness Angle versus Rollins, but we're sure it would have been a five star classic. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content you never want to miss, you gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never miss when whenever we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.